All right, so today we are going to talk about our legs, right? Mainly, when do we use them? How do we use them to our advantage in our shot? If you have followed me historically, you say that you will hear me say that we don't necessarily shoot with our legs, right? But our legs do serve as a contribution to everything else that we're doing. It's just a matter of understanding when to use them, all right? So you have to think of everything kind of having an order in a sense, right? And what that order does is allows us to take advantage of how we create energy best. When it comes to your legs, right? The only way we're going to be able to take advantage of them is if we actually get our body underneath the basketball, okay? So what I mean by that here is if I move this ball to a, like a traditional set, uh, set point, two position, right here, right? My body is now under the ball, right? If I jump, if I ask you, I want you to jump as high as you can, right? All of us would just jump straight up in the air. We would never jump out, okay? So what we have to think about when we're shooting our shots here in order to take advantage of our legs is if we don't actually get underneath this basketball, then we're not able to take advantage of the energy that our, our, our bodies and our legs are creating coming up underneath the ball. So what you'll see a lot, or what I see a lot, is players that have lower release points, right? And a lot of times we think, okay, we need a higher release point so our shot doesn't get blocked. Kind of, right? But in reality, we need a higher release point because it allows us to take advantage of the energy we create um, and how our bodies best will transfer energy from our body into the ball. What you'll see a lot is players that will release the ball here, and what happens is they are pushing the ball out away, so they push the ball on a line out, but their body is still going up. So we kind of had conflicting energy sources there, right? Our body's going up vertically, but the ball's going out. But if we can actually get this, get our body under the ball, right, getting to this point where, I say about the thumb around eyebrow, nose height or so, now I'd be, I'd be I'm at the advantage to then attach my legs under the ball and keep everything moving straight up in the air, okay? So the order in which things have to happen, the sequence in which things have to happen becomes so, so important. This is why we say we let that ball start to lead the way and then the body attaches underneath it and then we can really take advantage of all the energy that we create vertically. All right, so here's an example of, of taking this lower release point, but my energy going up, but me pushing away, right? And so you can see this, especially from side view, on how this can be a bit problematic and how it's not really allowing us to take advantage of how we create energy best, okay? So if I were to drop here and I would move this ball to this point and then my body goes up and I push out, me getting that shot consistent becomes really, really difficult to do, right? My timing has to be spot on. So if you're somebody that has, okay, I'm having a really, really good day, but the next day you can't find it, there's a good chance you're using your body wrong. You're using your sequencing wrong, okay? Well, instead, I wanna be able to get to a point where I'm coming up into my shot and I let this ball lead, get to this position here before my body attaches to it. Now, obviously, as you start to get the hang of this, you can start to really blur the lines of where you're starting, where you're stopping, all that kind of stuff. You'll see the, this, this principle common with almost all shooters, uh, but as long as our body can attach underneath the basketball and we get to a pretty consistent point of release or consistent two or set point, uh, we kind of control our own destiny there in terms of the energy we create along with the consistency of the shot itself. So one of the biggest things that gets players into trouble off of the bounce when you start to add more movement is the body starts to get ahead of everything, right? So you'll see a lot of players as they start to shoot on the move, they'll get to this position and they'll start to come up and that body will start moving. So in another, in another way, they're using their legs and their body wrong because they're not allowing the correct sequence to happen in terms of the ball leading. So the more you can think about this ball always leading you up into space vertically, right? This vertical space that I'm bringing the ball to, let that ball always lead the way, and then that way your body can flow underneath it. You find a lot more consistency off the move that way. Two, body attaches through.